If your hair is soft and fine and you struggle to style it, this is the video for you. Hi guys, thanks for clicking on the video. My name is Elliot Forbes, a head barber at the Mueller Treatment Space in London. If you're new to the channel, it's dedicated to hair, beard and grooming tips for the modern man and ASMR style shaving and haircuts. This week's hair icon is Christian Bale. The product of the week is the volume mousse from Shuamura. And as we mentioned, we're talking about how to style fine hair. So stick around for that, which will be in the third part of the show. But as a little warm up, let's get into my favorite TikTok of the last week. This is my best friend Connor. And as you can see, he was in desperate need of a haircut and a beard trim. Normally has it a bit longer at the front, push it up into a quiff, but today we changed all of that. I cut the top a lot shorter. I used a razor on the fringe to take that way short so it has a real broken up texture to it. The back and sides I took it down to a three and then faded the sideburns and the neck all the way out to the skin. Head on over to my Instagram page now to see the transformation photos of wildebeest to chunky hunk. Have a great rest of your day guys, much love. I think I'm going to put a lot more hair hair related content out of me actually doing haircuts because even then on the comments on that there's loads of comments saying oh I didn't realise you were a barber, oh so you are a barber then are you? I want to make sure that people do know that I'm a barber and not just that I shave all the time so... Yeah, definitely more hair related content coming when we can actually open up the barbershops again. So, Christian Bale, top five haircuts. In at five, this is the longest I've seen his hair, actually. I think he looks really soft, really loose. There's a nice bit of texture at the bottom of it. And he's got a little bit of lift at the root, and I think this looks great. In at four, iconic movie, iconic hair, and this Patrick Bateman look. Just something I would definitely picture of what it would look like in New York back in the day. It's probably really quite a similar length the whole way over, slicked back. It's quite long through the back, actually, when you actually look at it now compared to a lot of hairstyles. Quite a heavy product so that it can push back, and just a, an iconic look. In at three, the look from Batman. Not too similar to the last look but it's got a real refined look to it it's not wearing such a heavy product in there it's a bit softer something like a cream just to be able to just so that it can just flow back nicely when i look at this i think this has a real it's sort of expensive look to it i think it exemplifies bruce wayne obviously being the rich man i think this haircut it has a real rich feel to it in it too if you took this photo now and said told me it was in 2021 and some of the guys that are on tiktok it's that sort of same look curtains really loose through the front really nice amount of texture to it just enough weight so that it kinks out just a smidgen at that back area and yeah looks really effortlessly cool on him. In at number one, how good looking does he look in this? Got a whiff of like Brooklyn Beckham, of sort of little hoodie to it, and almost like a little bit Harry Styles as well. A longer version of the one before, very beachy. I think because the way this is cut and the way that he looks and because he's so youthful and fresh looking, that jaw is sharp as hell, he hasn't really got to sort of do anything to it. I think if he could just plop, flop it that way, flop it the other way, shake his head, and I think it would still look good. And that's the that's the sign of, of a real decent cut. And yeah, I think this looks brilliant on him. And I know we've finished five, but I think this look needs a special mention to it. Batman moustache something I'm probably imagining he only wore once and something we never want to see again. And this week's product, we are looking at the Volume Mousse from Shuamura. Now, this is a brand I love. I did a review on the Nendo Definer a few weeks back. I love that product as well. That's something that stays... That's something that I've used for a long while and I think will be a product which I'll keep on using for a while as well. This is part of the same range and it's really nice. It comes out very soft and very creamy in the hands. A mousse comes out like liquid and then it expands once it comes out of the can. You haven't really got to rub it through the hands. You can just place that onto the hair and then work it through damp hair. You want to make sure that it is the hair's on the wetter side as opposed to be too dry. Some mousses, if you're not too careful, can go a little bit crispy, but they're great if you want to try and get a bit of volume in the hair. They really work from the root and they're very good at setting the style into place. Say if you were to compare it to like a sea salt spray, that would still give it a little bit of texture and body at the end. Whereas now you can see where the way I've blow dried this, it almost sets it into place. I can pull it down, I can lift it back up and it will go back into that same shape. It has a real good memory to it. As you can see, it's really quite bouncy. And generally, I, I think mousses are, are really quite versatile. You can use them in quite a lot of different types of textures of hair. Say if you had hair on the curlier side, you can put this in, you could diffuse dry it. It would have a bit more of a, a crispier feel to it, but then you could just pull it out with the, with the comb to then let the volume and the curl come out a little bit more. So mousses are something that everybody should try and there definitely would be a mousse that you'd be able to find for yourself that would work well. This one is very nice. It's very silky. It has a lovely scent to it. Sometimes they, I think mousses can smell a little bit chemically, but the smell of this is the same scent that goes through the whole range of the products that they have at Shuamura. And yeah, if you want to try a mousse, definitely a mousse I'd recommend trying. Okay, so today's question is, I'm a guy with fine hair, but lots of it. My hair is quite light, so I don't like heavy products. What would you recommend are best ways to be able to style it? So if you have fine hair, one key to this is loading up the products and sort of layering them up so you have quite a bit to it. If you have fine hair, you feel like you need to put enough product in so that it's actually doing something. But say if you just to put one product in and you keep putting it in, then it ends up being flat, it ends up being heavy, and it ends up being greasy, like you've mentioned. So layering them is what we need to do. So you want to put a pre-styler in, something like that mousse that we just used then, something like that. That would work very nicely. Dry that into the hair. Another great product to pre-styler is the sea spray from Lush. I found that to be really quite nice. 
It's not ever too heavy, but it still feels like it gives it a bit of grit and a bit of weight behind it, but it dries into the hair quite nicely. Sometimes sea salt sprays can end up a little bit clumpy and sticky in certain areas, but that's very nice. Once your hair is dry, a lovely product which I found to be able to then style the hair is the hard cream pomade from Baxter's. Now this is a very dry looking product, very matte effect, but it has a very nice hold to it. I think this mattifies even the most greasy of hairs. I've found this to last very nicely on hair like yourself. On my hair, it almost looks a little bit too matte and a little goes a long way with this product is what I would say. It's got a lovely scent to it. It's almost like a, a lemon sherbet scent and it is, yeah, it works very nicely. That's a great product to be able to use with that. Then you need something to finish it off. There's a couple of options. I would either go with sort of something like a dust. That's then gonna be able to help keep the dryness into the hair and keep a bit of volume in through it. So it thickens it up, adds another layer of product to it. Or there's texturizing sprays. There's a product from Fudge and I think it's called the Membrane Gas and that's lovely. You don't wanna use a lot of it yet. You only need to use a faint little spray of it. It's different to a hairspray because hairspray almost goes a little bit crunchy and a little bit crispy, but the membrane brain gas almost just gives it a little bit of texture without really weighing it down and generally I've found a lovely way of finishing the hair and if you do those sort of things you'll definitely notice a big difference with the way that your hair styles and the way that it lasts throughout the day okay guys thank you so much for watching if you have got this far it's massively appreciated all you guys that do get to the end of these videos I know you guys are my OGs and the guys that really support the channel so thank you so much for doing that for everyone that has been DM me and if I haven't got back to you I'm very sorry that it's just it's been crazy the amount of DMs that are coming in but I am trying my best to get through all of them if there are any questions or anything else that you want to see please feel free to drop a comment down below or send me a dm i'm, I'm going to continue to keep trying to get back to everyone thanks all for watching have a brilliant rest of your day much love elliot Boom.